In this video, we're going to talk about framing doors in SketchUp. So I've done a couple of videos on framing walls. If you haven't framed a wall in SketchUp, I highly recommend you check that out. That way you know the basics here. You know about creating components and copying them across the wall and that sort of thing. So check that out first. And once you've gotten that far, you're ready to make a door. So we're going to frame a door here. The first thing you'll need to do is decide where you want to put the door and how big the door will be. In this case, I'm going to put a door right in the center of this wall and my door will be 36 inches wide by 80 inches tall. Now, what we'll do is actually make a rough opening that is 38 inches wide, 82 inches tall. That's two extra inches on the width and the height. And the reason is you can always shim a door, but if you've made your opening just even a tad too small, it's big trouble in the real world when putting your door in, right? So um, what we're gonna do is first decide where the middle of this wall is. This wall is 12 feet. So one thing I could do is I could take a tape measure and I could come out six feet and that gives me the middle. Another thing I could do is just with the line tool come down here and hover on this edge here and it will tell me where the midpoint is. So I'm gonna draw a line right here. We're gonna delete it in just a second, but that's just gonna give us a reference as to the midpoint of this wall. Now we're going to create a 38 inch wide opening. So what I can do is take the tape measure, which is T on your keyboard and pull out 19 inches. Now notice it jumped off of the green axis. If I hit the left arrow key, it will just lock into the green axis there. So if I hit 19, which is half of 38, and then come this way and hit 19, enter, that gives us 38 inches wide. So what we can do now is just delete this middle mark now that we have the uh, sides here. So we have two studs hanging out in the middle of our doorway, and we actually need some studs along these lines here. So what I'm gonna do is hit M for the move tool and just move this stud right here and then do the same thing with this stud here. Okay, so we snapped them onto those lines, and now I can actually take my eraser tool and just erase those guidelines now that we have the studs where we want them. So we need one more guideline, and that is going to be the height of our door. So this is going to be from the top of the slab here. This bottom plate is actually going to get removed. You don't want a bottom plate in the middle of your doorway, right? So what we're gonna do is hit T for the tape measure and from the top of the slab, we're gonna come up and we're going to type in 82 inches. Oh, and we were on the red axis. So if I go back, pull this up and hit the up arrow key, it will lock me into the blue axis, type in 82, enter. So now we have our mark up there at 82 inches. And what I'm going to first do is I'm going to take these studs down to that height right there. So the way that I can do that is first by clicking on them and right clicking them and then going to make unique. Now the reason we're doing this is this component is the same as this one and this one and this one and all the studs on here. So if we were to bring the height down here, it would do it to all of the studs and we actually just want to do it to this stud and this stud. So we're going to come over here and click on this one and then right click and make unique again. So now these studs can be manipulated and it won't affect the rest of the studs in the project. So what I'm going to do is triple click one of these studs until I see this sort of um, dotted box around it. And then I'm going to hit P for the push pull tool. And from the top of it, I'm just going to bring it down to this line right here. So I should be able to snap to it. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing over here. And if you're having trouble snapping to the line, one thing you could do is just from the here to the, this line, you can see that it is, let's see, that's uh, 15 and a half inches. So what we're gonna do is triple click this, hit P, and we could just bring this down and type in 15.5, and that should also put us on that line. Okay, so now our studs are at the height that we want. And before we create a header, what we're going to do is just make a two by four um, across here. So 
we can delete this guideline. I'm going to click on it with the selector tool, hit delete. Then I'm going to hit L for the line tool. I'm going to come up, type in 1.5, go across the red axis. If I need to lock to it, I can hit the right arrow key, and now it can't come off the red axis. Type in 3.5, and then come down to this corner and connect them. Now, I could have used the rectangle tool. Um, sometimes I just find it easier just to draw my lines like that. So what I'm going to do is hit B, which is the paint tool. And if you paint a surface and then use the push-pull tool on that side, it will paint all six sides of it. So I think this is 41 inches. So that's our 38 inches in between plus the one and a half inches for the stud. So now we have our little top board there. We'll just triple click it, right click and make component. Remember, everything needs to be a component. If you don't, you're gonna run into problems later. So I'm just gonna call it top. We've already got top plate up here. Uh, we only need one of these, so we won't worry about it. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is create our header. And the header is going to be, in this case, a two by six, actually two two by sixes with a piece of half inch plywood in between. So we'll go ahead and look at this one I already made over here. Now, your two by fours are three and a half inches thick. And that means uh, a one and a half inch board plus a half inch of plywood plus another one and a half inch board equals the width there, three and a half inches. So what we're gonna do is create a two by six. Now, I am not a structural engineer. You may need a two by eight for your header. I imagine a little tiny shed style building like this would be fine with two by six, but you know, if you're building an actual house that needs to be up to code and all of that, check with a structural engineer. But um, what I'm going to do is, well, let's use the rectangle tool instead of doing it with the lines like I usually do. I'm gonna click in this corner and I need it to lock onto the red axis. So I'll hit the right arrow key and now we're locked in. And what we need, if we look down in the bottom right at the dimensions, it says three foot five, which is 41 inches. So we'll start with that 41 comma 5.5. So a two by six is actually five and a half inches. So we're gonna go on this side of that two by six. We're gonna hit B for the paint tool and paint it before we hit P for the push pull tool and pull this out 1.5 inches. Okay, so now we're gonna triple click that and make it a component. I'm gonna call it header. And I've already done one over here so it says replace that I actually didn't think it would delete that let me go back we're going to triple click this make component I'll just call it header 2 okay so now we've got our header up here now we need a half inch piece of plywood now because we made this a component we can draw on the surface of it and pull another object out of it without them being permanently connected so if I just hit L for the line tool and I just trace this here this whole two by six. When you see that sort of discoloration, that means you've got a whole nother object coming out of it. So if I hit B for the paint tool again, actually we'll change the color for the plywood just so we know. Um, we could go into anything here. We could go to wood and select something like that. Now, if we hit P for the push pull tool, we're gonna pull this out 0.5 and then triple click. And see, when I triple clicked it, it only selected the plywood because that header is a component. So I can't stress that enough. Do not forget to make things components. Right click, make component. We're gonna call this plywood. So this is a half inch of plywood. And then now all we have to do is copy this one, this uh, two by six over here. If I just select it and then hit M, this is the move tool. Then if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hit option if you're on Windows, you're going to hit Control. And notice that added a little plus sign right here. That is the move a copy sort of thing right here. Now, we only need to move it. Actually, what I can do, let me just restart here. I'm going to grab from this side, hit Option or Control if you're on Windows, and set it right there. Okay, so that is our header. Now, the next thing we need to do is um, add our king studs. So these are called jack studs right here. They're underneath the header. Your king stud is what's going to go right up against that. So if I come down here, 
click on this stud, hit M for the move tool, option to copy, control if you're on Windows, I'm on a Mac, just move that right there. That is our king stud. So we've got king stud here and jack stud here, right? And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna move a copy of this stud, M for the move tool, option to copy or control. There we go, that is our king stud. And so that's basically the header. The only thing we need to do is add our studs up here. So you want to continue your framing pattern. If you're framing on 16 inch centers, you wanna continue that. So what I have here is 16 inch centers. And what I'm going to do is just move a copy of this one over 16 inches. M for the move tool, option or control to copy. Move it along the green axis and type in 16. Okay, now what I'm going to do I can mark this and draw another one, or I could just push pull this one all the way up. What I actually might do is draw a mark here, and I could draw another one here. I'm gonna delete them. Great, now I can delete this right here, and then I can come, ah, uh, I should have done that on the header, but what I can do is draw 0.5, a rectangle here, just like that, and then I can delete these. Hit B for the paint tool, paint that. Oh, didn't mean to paint it that color. Let's go back. I was using this uh, wood look from Synthetic Surfaces. It actually looks better than most of the wood when it comes to framing lumber. Now I can just pull this down right here. So that's eight and a half inches. And so now what we can do is triple click this, make it a component, Call it, uh, we'll call it small stud. And then we're gonna hit M for the move tool, option to copy. Oh, let me back up, it did not copy. Option to copy, move this over, hit 16. Okay, and so I would just um, take these blocks right here. I'm gonna move another one. I'll select this, hit M, option or control, and just move this here. I'll move another one right here, and it's just a um, little block of wood, even though we're on our 16s, it wouldn't hurt to add these as well. So I'm gonna move this right here, and that is a doorway. Oh, actually, one more thing, guys, sorry about that. We've got to cut this um, bottom plate right here. Now, this is actually an interesting um, situation. Instead of trying to like just cut through this, this is a component, um, the best thing to do is first come down here. We're gonna click on it once and make it unique. And the reason we're gonna make it unique is this top plate is a copy of the bottom plate and we don't want the top plate to change. So I'm gonna come down here, right click, make unique. Okay, so now anything we do to this bottom plate um, will only happen down here and not to the top plate. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is triple click on the bottom plate, hit P for the push pull tool and I'm gonna push this all the way until it's locked onto this stud over here. So, that is our bottom plate. Now we need another one on this side, but because we put our door right in the center, what we can do is click on this, hit M for the move tool, option to copy, and again, control if you're on Windows, and then all I have to do is drag a copy of this all the way over here. So I can just bring one right over here, boom. Oh, I did not grab a copy. Sometimes when you hit the option, or at least I don't know if it's my keyboard or if it's SketchUp, but um, sometimes when I hit it, it doesn't bring up the copy. And somehow I lost my board. There we go. We're gonna set that right there. And now we have our bottom plate cut out. So the doorway is wide open and we have a 38 by 82 inch rough opening. Perfect for our 36 by 80 door that's going in. We've got our jack studs here, king stud here. We've got our header up here, and we've got the bottom plate cut out. And the reason you would have a header, I'm sure most of you guys know, but I'll just mention, is that the weight of the roof, the trusses, or second floor, or whatever you have above this top plate, you don't want the structural load coming down into the middle of your doorway, right? So we have a header which disperses the weight onto these jack studs here. And then you, um, yeah, so that's how 
That's how a header works. Anyway, that is how you frame a door inside a SketchUp. Stay tuned. Um, the next video I'll do will be framing windows. And then I think I'm going to do a complete framing video, just starting with the walls, the windows, the doors, and maybe do uh, the roof as well. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.